Today, I've got a map with all 32 NFL franchises, and I've got a wheel to dictate where each game in this video will take place. Madden 24, Madden 16, or Madden 08, I'll spin that wheel prior to each and every matchup, win a game in any era, take over new real estate on the map, lose, and you're eliminated. We know how this goes. As a bonus for winning, teams can acquire one player from any franchise that's been eliminated in the video prior to their next game, and only in the era that game takes place. That might have been confusing. It'll make sense once we get flowing, I promise. So uh, let's get to it. Oh, and of course, shout out to Dean's World, the absolute goat for originating the entire imperialism concept. Step one is to find the first team, the first challenger of our video, the Miami Dolphins. Pretty good in the current era, we know. Those dolphins will be traveling. Do they get out of Florida with this compass? No, they do not. They are going north slightly. Uh, what is that? West. We'll call it into Tampa territory. It makes sense. And now in action for the first time, our era's wheel. It's just the three options of games I copy pasted them a bunch and we're gonna start in the modern era that's pretty fitting oh my gosh and buoyed by a strong defensive performance the bucks have held the dolphins at bay and they've got a chance that was a good idea in theory i kind of liked what they were working with there but uh poor execution third and five bucks obviously in four down territory completed a pass for a first can miami bend but not break i can't believe we got this clutch finish already i definitely thought the dolphins would handle business but uh baker's balling oh he's going end zone he's going end zone he's got him is that trey palmer the rookie Oh my, Miami, Xavier Howard fell apart in coverage. Now, if there's one team right now that I would bet can get down the field, at least a field goal position in 26 seconds, it's probably the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Baker and the boys might've scored too soon. Tua's gonna tuck and run for just about a first. That's not bad right there. A chunk play only took five seconds. They have burned their first of three timeouts. Now Tua back to draw. Pressure, the Bucks got him, wow. Madden is crazy, he's going deep. It's almost picked off, but it does does not matter. Bad final two possessions for the Dolphins, man. Wow. And just like that, two thirds of Florida in terms of teams belongs to the Bucks. The Dolphins have been removed from our wheel. I can't believe it, man. I thought they'd be a heavyweight. The Rams, interesting. I'm not sure how good they were. Not good in at least one of our not current eras. Uh, they're not the best team now, but uh, either way, going west, slightly south from their home in LA takes them into Raiders of Las Vegas territory, which outside of the current Madden 24 era would have taken place in St. Louis or or Oakland, which is fascinating. We're going one era backwards. Tough luck for the Rams, who were not great back on Madden 16. Johnny Hecker, their punter, was their best player. Aaron Donald was only a 92. I believe he was a rookie or in his second season. And their QB was uh, Nick Foles. Okay, Austin David. Case Keenum, the legend. Good news for the Rams, though. The Raiders were equally as mid, led by a second year Khalil Mack. A decent O line, looks like Sebastian Janikowski. And a second second year Derek Carr, a little bit better than Nick Foles uh, on paper in Madden. And I'm not sure I would have believed it unless I just saw it, but uh, a Jeff Fisher, Nick Foles led St. Louis Rams does come out on top 24, 10. Oh my goodness. I totally forgot. Trent Richardson was on these Raiders average 2.5 yards. A Yo, that is accurate, Madden. He sucks. Oh, shut the f up. And just to follow up with what I said in the intro, the Rams and the Bucks before them will get to add a player from a team that's been eliminated, but we will do that the next time we see them in the video. So that's why I haven't added any players yet. We'd stick in Cali for our next matchup. The Chargers traveling south into Arizona, a matchup that was back on Madden 16. Okay, the Chargers look all right. Eric Weddle, uh, not quite super old man. Philip Rivers, he was getting there though. Had a lot of kids already by then. Brandon Flowers, Antonio Gates. All right, young Keenan Allen. Wow, these two teams very on par. The cards, Calais Campbell. Okay, Pat Pete back in his prime. Mikey Potty, Larry Fitzgerald. And another old but not quite ancient dude, Carson Palmer, still an 83 overall. Unfortunately, even on paper as it may have been, the Chargers dominated wire to wire. Our next tilt would take place in the area of the US I clearly don't understand, at least based on my map creation. Washington versus Baltimore, our first trip back to Madden 08. Let's go. Washington at the time in Madden 08 was led by London Fletcher Baker, name does not ring a bell. I'll be completely honest. Clinton Portis though, absolute dog. And uh, wait, where is he at? Yes, young Sean Taylor in 90 overall. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Ravens. They are unbelievable. Ed Reed, very much in his prime. Jonathan Ogden, Ray Lewis, Todd Heat. At QB, Steve McNair was old, but probably still serviceable enough for him. For many reasons, including the fact the graphics are downright offensive to my eyeballs. We're gonna have to watch these Mad No 8 Sims from the Super Sim menu. It happens quick, so keep up. I'm going to the end of the game. What just the Ravens scored what in the... 
They were down entering the fourth. Uh, I thought that was going to be dramatic. Never mind. Washington went up 19-14 with a field goal just before the fourth quarter. And then the Ravens went crazy. Mason from McNair. Ray Lewis, a return fumble touchdown. They uh, got a rushing touch. So three touchdowns in the fourth quarter. Just a wash, man. And honestly, fair enough. Ravens were loaded back then. They now own whichever states I included over there. The wheel wanted us to sort out Texas and our Cowboys-Texans battle would take place back on Madden 16. Okay, the boys were kind of cooking back on M16. Uh, Des Bryant, obviously. Did he catch it? I don't know. Uh, Tony Romo, Jason Witten. Yeah, all about their offense. Solid O-line. Yo, JJ Watt. I forgot. Part of the uh, 99 club there on Madden 16. Arian Foster was a... Can JJ stifle that Dallas O? Well, just hold on. Looks like JJ and crew have done a reasonable job. Dallas does have 24 points, but Houston is within striking distance down five. Oh, look at the way... Yo, watching the game, the hurry up looks so much much smoother than Madden 24. There's no way eight years before. Look at this. They're just running up to the line. There's I, I, some of you might not watch games with super simp. This feels way smoother. What in the world? We're under a minute left. Houston still has all three timeouts. That's Ryan Mallett back there. What is he? My guy. My Ryan guy. Mallett gave it his all down the stretch there, but not enough. We are making some progress, taking some teams off the wheel from the Cowboys, Texans. We go to the Colts. Okay. Ah, this era is very interesting. If they get 08, Peyton Manning, Reggie, uh, Wayne, Marvin Harrison, and the boys, they're going to be heading south into Tennessee. Okay, I'm very intrigued at what era this takes place in. Madden 16 would also be fire for the Colts with Andrew Luck. I'm not thinking about the Titans. We're going modern era. Okay. Wow, I definitely thought I just jinxed the Colts by talking about how good they'd be in Madden 08, Madden 16. But here in the current era, they are holding a touchdown lead. Tannehill and the Titans. Look at what? Oh my gosh. We just saw young DeAndre Hopkins take an L moments ago. They tried to go deep to him in that game on Houston. Now we've got old DeHop to Stan Hill look his way. That was a pick six in real life. Will that dropped INT come back to haunt the Colts? I, I don't think so. I don't have much faith in Ryan Tannehill and the Titans right here. Fourth and 10. Game on the line. Colts bringing some pressure. And now it is picked off. And he was targeting D Hop. Well, full circle moment. Colts remain alive so we can potentially see him in a different era. We'd get our first repeat team in the Cowboys next. The Compass would send them into a battle with Denver. And the Errors Wheel sent them back to Madden 16. And because this is the Cowboys' second game, they get to officially apply their bonus upgrade to add one player from any eliminated team, which back on Madden 16 makes it a no-brainer. J.J. Watt has been added to the Cowboys. He will stay on their roster on Madden 16, but if we get them in any other era, they're going to have to earn different upgrades because J.J. won't be there, obviously. And honestly, J.J., a perfect upgrade because the Broncos are no joke. Were they coming off a Super Bowl in Madden 16 or were they just about to win one? I'm not sure. Peyton Manning is old, but he's still a 92 overall. Well, 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 but uh, I figured something out. Uh, Ca Cowboys fans look away. Oh no, they lost by 21 points. JJ Watt, 99 overall added. Apparently did not help. Peyton Manning threw for 356 and two. This Broncos team was the one that would win the Super Bowl during the year of Madden 16. The Cowboys were cooked. The Vikings would debut in this video with a predictable matchup against Green Bay taking place in the modern era. And Kirk Cousins got tricked into thinking this was primetime or something. Green Bay winning in their weakest era could be problematic for the rest of our map. Uh, meanwhile, we'd get a matchup between the Lions and the Bengals taking place in the Sahara Desert. Oh, also um, on Madden 16. Anyways, Madden 16, the Detroit Lions, baby, we're just here for Megatron. Am I right? Calvin Johnson, 95 overall. Cincinnati, meanwhile, Andrew Whitworth, AJ Green. Um, I don't who's their QB again? Oh, of course, uh, Andy Dalton, 80 overall. I gotta be honest, I'm not moved. Well, okay, maybe I should have been moved. Uh, uh, Andy Dalton had them boys cooking on offense, 32-15. I mean, Calvin did his thing, 9 for 126. Hopefully another team can pick him up and uh, maybe go on a little championship run. No rest for those Bengals as the wheel would give us the Packers again, sending them into brand new Cincy territory and into the modern era. Both teams have already played and won a game, so both will get to add a player from an eliminated team before this game. I'm letting the Packers choose first because the wheel did land on them. And with all due respect to Jordan Love, who won his first game, game. The biggest weakness for the Packers, in my opinion, QB Tua Tagovailoa at an 88 overall is the best available from eliminated teams. So there he goes on to Green Bay. Well, for the Bengals, I didn't think about strategy. Uh, I just thought about fun. 99 Tyreek Hill, also from the Dolphins, obviously. Probably the last thing since he needed, but like, come on, I had to do it. Uh, 
Tyree Kill, a little four-yard tutty pass from Joe Burrow. Smart move by me. To a 10-yard tutty to Christian Watson. Another smart move by me. Okay, I, I don't know why I was resorting to back padding. That was completely unnecessary. I'm supposed to be unbiased here. Also, yeah, this game was uh not close. Uh yeah. Tyreek seven for 138 and two. Jamar had two touchdowns. T. Higgins. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good big three. Since he making serious moves. While the wheel would introduce Carolina to the video, unfortunately sending them into Baltimore and into Madden 08. Okay, maybe not unfortunate. I forgot how good the Panthers were. Prime Steve Smith, Julius Peppers leading the way. But we've already seen how dominant this Madden 08 Ravens team is. And I gave them Larry Fitzgerald from the eliminated Cardinals. 95 overall. Come on. Carolina did put up a fight, eventually falling by a touchdown. Larry Fitz did literally nothing, by the way. Our first trip to the Big Apple was up next as the Giants would be sent into Buffalo. They'd also be sent into Madden 08 for the second game in a row. This Giants roster on Madden 08 was just about to make a Super Bowl winning run. Jeremy Shockey, Michael Strahan, okay, Antonio Pierce. Eli Manning, 85 overall, honestly sounds about right. Bills fans, I am worried for you. Mm, yeah, that roster. Brian Mormon and Ryan, when a punter and a kicker are two of your highest overall players, you might be in some trouble. Jake Lossman, can he take down the Super Bowl winning Giants? Oh boy. He could not. Shocking result, but the Bills eliminated. Wow. The wheel would next wrangle the Browns into the video, sending them north into the Bengals expanding region. Our era's wheel put them in Madden 16, which is interesting because last time we saw the Bengals, they won their second game of the video, meaning they get another upgrade, another player addition ahead of their third game, this time on Madden 16. And would you look at that, baby? The Green Bay Packers have been eliminated from this video, so Aaron Rodgers will uh, drop in their under center instead of Andy Dalton. I think that'll help since it's also an interesting matchup because the Browns in 2016. Um, well, oh, oh, prime. Wait, where, where is he? Prime Josh Gordon. Stay off the weed. Uh, I think they might get steamrolled. Indeed, this one was not close. Rodgers and the Bengals by 15. The Bengals just keep growing as the Jets would be spun next. They'd foolishly unleash the Patriots into our video. Gosh darn it in Madden 16 too. Look what you've done, New York Jets. You've got a pretty cool defense on Madden 16. I'll give you that. Freaking Ryan Fitzpatrick. Patrick under center though, but you've welcomed in the Patriots during an era in which Tom Brady was still a 97, Rob Gronkowski at 99. They're freaking loaded. Dude, this could have been the modern Patriots. They probably would have taken it out. Now it's not going to happen. Okay, everybody hold on though. Hold on. The Jets might just be cooking. I, I don't know what I'm seeing. They're only down six, 47 seconds left. No timeouts. Geno Smith is in. Ryan Fitzpatrick benched out. Oh, Geno's dealing. <laughs> Let's go, New York. You can save us from the inevitable Pats. I got to hand it to the Jets. I thought they were going to get absolutely destroyed. They probably should on paper. Why are you going to the middle of the field, man? Oh, they aren't spiking this. Nah, Gino's back in the shotgun. I don't love this clock management. Okay, there you go to the sideline. Gino, it's caught. Get up to the line, man. I think that was Eric Decker. It doesn't matter. 10 seconds. Oh my gosh, they're not going to make it. <laughs> they're not going to, they're not, they're not even spiking it. Get set up one play, one play. No, Gino. Oh my gosh, the clock management. What a disaster. Get out of here, Tom. You didn't deserve that. Come on, brother. We had a legitimate chance to eliminate the Patriots before they make an inevitable run in this video. Dang it, New York. 14 teams eliminated so far. We are almost at the halfway point of the video. The Rams, weren't they our first game or second of the video? Either way, it's been a minute, but we will get the Rams again, who will get to add an upgrade in whichever era they're in. The only team that makes sense going southwest from the uh, Rams territory is from their new Las Vegas area into San Francisco. Yes, sir. That's a uh, division rivalry. On the fly, I was trying to figure out what the best era would be for this matchup. Probably the current day. Wait, okay, doesn't matter. We get the current day, so yeah, I'll stop thinking. Rams 49ers, always a banger. NFC West rivalry matchup, and now Derrick Henry has been added from the eliminated Titans. I figured the Rams could use a running back, and uh, yeah, Derrick Henry, pretty good, right? Oh, and on this note, I would have given them 97 overall Nick Chubb from the eliminated Browns, but because he's on injured reserve, I don't think there's a workaround to manage it, to trading him for managed roster for play now unless anybody knows, let me know down below. Derrick Henry would indeed make an impact for the Rams right away. A 38-yard rush for a touchdown during this game. But unfortunately, that Derrick Henry touchdown wasn't enough. We know how great the 49ers are in the modern era, and this game wasn't close. McCaffrey did his thing over 100 yards. Derrick Henry was good, but only 11 carries. I guess the game
game script didn't help him out too much. The 49ers overtake all of Cali while the wheels spat out another NFC West squad, the Seahawks, who'd travel east all the way into Bengals territory and back in time to Madden 08. Madden 08, a very interesting era for my Seattle Seahawks. They were two years removed from losing a heartbreaking Super Bowl appearance. Sean Alexander had just been hit by the Madden curse. He still has some respect here, 95 overall. Uh, Matt Hasselbat, they're pretty good on paper. But the Bengals have now won three games this video. In each era, they have received an upgrade, including here Madden 08, where their skill positions are loaded. Chad Johnson, 98 overall. Carson Palmer, 97. They've got Rudy Johnson, a 91 overall running back. So I toss them Julius Peppers from the Carolina Panthers. And I don't know how much of an impact Julius is making because this is a pretty high scoring game. 28-24 Bengals lead heading into the fourth. 95 yard TD run by Sean Alexander. He's not washed in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Palmer incomplete. Palmer to Hushmanzada. Palmer to not check. Oh my, they are driving. All they need is a field goal. Uh, they're, they're, they scored a touchdown. What? I think that's going to be game unless Matt Hasselback has some absolute heroics. Nope. I apologize for how that probably translated to the video. Me trying to read the things that were happening. That was fun though. Yeah, tough to see my Seahawks fall, but the Bengals are relentless and they were right back up. Wheel sending them east into New York and off to Madden 08 to face the Giants. We of course just saw the Bengals here. We've also seen the Giants on Madden 08. Uh, Joey Porter. Yeah, the best available left outside linebacker. That was a weakness for this Bengals team. Man, they're good. I could have replaced Eli Manning with probably a better QB option, but we can't mess with that Super Bowl magic, baby. Instead, I gave him Sean Alexander. We just saw him run wild for the Seahawks, so why not? Oh, Carson Palmer to TJ Hushmanzada again dominating? Under two minutes left and the Giants need two touchdowns. I gotta be honest, I don't think it's gonna happen. Incomplete pass. Eli Manning sacked. Yeah. A little glitchy on route. The Giants did find a late TD, but yeah, Cincinnati won by seven. Since he keeps expanding, man, while the wheel gave us the Saints for the first time, it would be a classic Buck Saints NFC South matchup in the modern era. The Buccaneers won our very first game of the video. Remember, they upset the Dolphins. Uh, since then, Buffalo's been eliminated, so why not give Josh Allen to Tampa Bay? Sorry, Baker. I mean, you're cool, but you're not Josh Allen. Okay, well, Josh Allen seems to have done his part for the Bucks. They've scored 38 points, but the Saints somehow, Derek Carr, yeah, very realistic. 31 points, they're right here. New Orleans used their final timeout, though. 40 seconds left, and of course, they need a touchdown. The Bucks are sitting way back. Oh my, Rashid Shaheed, and he gets out of bounds. Okay, Derek Carr steps up through the pocket. Uh, you could probably run it, my guy. Ah, how do you not get rid of that ball, Derek? A sack after chewing a bunch of clock, then a throwaway. This leads to the final play of the game. It's within distance, though. Carr to the end zone. Not picked off, but it's batted down. Uh, Low-key, Derek Carr kind of outplayed Josh there. Well, we don't need to discuss it, though. The Chargers were welcome back to this video. Unfortunately, the only team west of them is the Niners. However, Madden 16 could work out for them. We've already seen the Chargers take a dub actually during this era, so they earned an upgrade. I gave them Marshawn Lynch from the eliminated Seahawks, their biggest weakness, in my opinion, running back. Well, the 49ers, yeah, JJ Watt, he's just bouncing teams that uh, hopefully he doesn't get eliminated this time. Yeah, San Fran is very... I thought they were a little bit weaker during this era. Nah, and I just filled in their only kind of weakness. Oh my goodness, boys. I thought this was going to be a blowout, but the Chargers scored a couple times in the fourth quarter. Third and six. This would be the last chance if they let Cap cook and he gets a first down. They do not, and they're going to get stuffed are the 49ers. All right, Phil, what do you got now? Again, no timeouts. E, that's JJ Watt tracking him down, forcing a fumble. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think that just ended the game. 33-23, the final. That was a tight matchup, but San Fran survives. The Ravens were up next, heading northwest into Steelers territory, and for the first time, we'd see Baltimore in the modern era. I didn't overthink this one. The Ravens earning an upgrade. Saquon Barkley from the eliminated Giants. Exactly what they need. And the Ravens offense was indeed too lethal, putting up a 40 spot in the win. Barkley efficient on the ground, a TD through the air. Slowly but surely, the Ravens were growing, and the wheel would put them right back up, heading south through their own territory into Atlanta. The Falcons debut in this video, taking place in the modern era. We just gave him a stud running back. Now I toss the Ravens stuff on digs going home to Maryland. Nice. Um, what's not nice though? How did this happen? The Ravens, all these weapons, they have six points. I, ca I cannot, I can't take it. Lamar Jackson, you cannot let Arthur Smith win. No. Okay. They're into Falcons territory. Baltimore, do you realize how smug Arthur Smith with his stupid mustache will be after? He's going to start talking about global warming, uh, political commentary. Okay. Good completion. You have no timeouts now though. Oh my gosh, 15 seconds. Madden, Madden, you have to at least let them get one more play. Get out of here.
Mr. Arthur Smith. Yo, okay, okay. It showed them huddling. This is the last play of the game. This is Madden 24. They aren't smart. Lamar's got to go to the... Oh, my good. They just lost. They just lost. What? Our first massive upset in this game. How? Mac Hollins led the Falcons. Mac Hollins and Cardero Hodge. Yeah, no Kyle Pitts, Drake London in sight. Oh, that is so on brand. What? Now that's funny. That's funny. Dude, I am legitimately shocked at how that game played out. It's Arthur Smith's dream. No offense. Nobody scored fantasy points and his team took the dub. I mean, I cannot believe it. And with that, we're down to just 11 teams left in this video. Still a couple I think we haven't seen even once the Eagles. There you go. They'll be making their debut. Modern era would be real nice for them. Uh, first off, they're heading. Okay. Southwest. I can do directions uh, into Falcons territory. Can they avenge the Ravens loss? Off the top of my head, I think uh, the Falcons would have been really good on Madden 16. I think the other two eras would be the Eagles favored for sure, including Madden 08. Let's find out. Okay. The Eagles were very much uh, competitive in this era. Brian Dawkins, absolute legend. Donovan McNabb, 94 overall. Brian Westbrook, yep, they're loaded. I gave the Falcons, meanwhile, a stud receiver. They were always missing that. Torrey Holt from the eliminated Rams. They've got Crumpler, a nice tight, and they've got decent defensive options. And Michael Vick at QB, he will benefit from having Torrey Holt, obviously. Okay, we might be saved from the Falcons dominating this video. Eagles up 12, but things happen quick here on Madden 08. Oh my goodness, never mind. A 72-yard TD run by Donovan McNabb. That's amazing and gonna seal this one for sure. It would actually end up 41-27, high scoring as per usual. The Eagles inherit a whole lot of land from Atlanta. Nice. While the wheel would give us the Pats for their second appearance, the compass would send them west right into Bengals territory. Let's go. Off to Madden 16. Both teams were owed an upgrade, so I gave the Patriots Adrian Peterson in his prime. Um, yeah, that makes sense, right? But it's okay, people, because I also gave the Bengals prime Antonio Brown to join with, uh, yeah, Aaron Rodgers who's still here, Madden 60. This is going to be a good battle. Or maybe it wouldn't. Tom Brady versus Aaron Rodgers. Everything on the line and Tom takes it. He can't keep getting away with it. The wheel allowing New England to play games only during the Brady era is another clear Pats conspiracy. Yeah, uh, up next, the Broncos returning, taking on the Niners, traveling back to Madden 08 to a sturdy Denver roster. I added Carson Palmer under center while the Niners, um, they might be in some trouble. Maybe Drew Brees can save them. Oh my goodness, indeed. Drew Brees is bowling for the 49ers. It's a 24 all game, 23 seconds left. I think we're going to OT right here indeed. Okay, I'm gonna sim to the next possession. The game could end here. I don't even know who has the ball right now. No, it doesn't end. The 49ers are getting the ball back. Can Drew Brees do it for San Fran? Oh my gosh. Can Carson Palmer do it for Denver? One of these QBs, 95 plus overall, has got to come through and it's gonna be Carson. It was a game-winning field goal for the Broncos in OT. Carson Palmer thoroughly outplaying Drew Brees. Wow, how was San Fran even close? Denver now overtakes California in addition to having Texas while the wheel would set up a doozy goal. Colts heading into Patriots territory. Unfortunately, not a Brady Manning duel. The good news is Indianapolis obviously has Andrew Luck in his prime 94 overall. He should be elite. And I'm going to give their defense a fighting chance by adding Muhammad Wilkerson. Can he pressure Brady like once or twice in the game? We know about Brady's weapons. Gronk, AP. Uh, yeah, I also gave him Darrell Revis. Why not? Um, sure. Yeah. 12 seconds later. Ladies and gentlemen, the rumors, the allegations were true. Andrew Luck back in the day was indeed the chosen in one. Yep. Yep. That's right. That's right. Nothing. I waited until literally nothing could go wrong. We know how the Patriots roll. Blessed everywhere. Cheating everywhere. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, they're losing somehow. It doesn't make sense, but I think everyone outside of Massachusetts is very happy right now. Yeah, what your f***ing problem is? What? You think you're better than Pete. Andrew Luck said the future is now, old man. Go pack your car down by the harbor. Take in a game at the garden or something, because this video is no longer for you. Bad Patriots fans are going to be so mad at me right now. We've now got Indy Blue from coast to coast. The Bucks were up next, finally forcing Jacksonville to participate in the video, heading back to the modern era, wherein the Bucks received their second upgrade in this era, Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, joining Josh Allen, that offense is going to be lethal. Yeah, the 
Jags, did they really think they could sleepwalk through this video? No, sir. At long last, the Bears would enter the video taking on the Colts in the modern era. This is a pretty ugly matchup, I cannot lie. Although I did give the Indianapolis Colts, who were due a bonus upgrade, Lamar Jackson from the uh, eliminated Raven. I mean, Lamar has choked once in this video. It couldn't happen again, could it? Okay, okay. It wasn't a masterpiece, a, a blowout or anything. It wasn't necessarily a clutch finish either. But Lamar and the Colts do survive only by three points in the end. And with that, just five teams will remain on our map. The Colts with the uh, most territory. Well, them and the Broncos. It doesn't matter. The only question on my mind now, it's been there for a while. When do we see the freaking Kansas City Chiefs? Man, the Eagles. No. If the Chiefs skate by and then get a modern era game, like in the final matchup, that would be insane. South from the Eagles logo is through their own territory down to Tampa. Sure, why not? Kansas City. I cannot believe you. Eagles Bucks, though, will take place in which era we haven't seen okay uh, doesn't matter what we haven't seen we're seeing madden 24 again this matchup is fascinating because the bucks have been stacking upgrades in this era specifically mccaffrey josh allen i just gave him mark andrews second best tight end in the league why not double down on offense but the eagles have arguably the best roster in the nfl and on madden 24 their first upgrade fred warner baby best middle linebacker in the game sure okay boys here we go all these upgrades i've given to the bucks offense i mean they have haven't been lethal. It's their defense clamping the Eagles. But, uh, oh, they're running the ball. DeAndre Swift, he's got, yep, he's got, okay, they got to run. They got to go. They got to go. I say it's smart because I think preserving that final timeout, yeah, I think that's a high IQ play. Nick Sirianni knows what he's doing. Bucks only rushing three Hurts, got all sorts of time throwing off the run to Swift. What? A check down? Jalen Hurts threw a check down inbounds. They didn't call a timeout. Then he sailed the pass. Now he's getting sacked in that day. Yep, that, that's, that's game. The Eagles, what? What were you doing? If the Bucks get to keep staying in the modern era for these games, they might legitimately win this whole thing. I don't think they have upgrades anywhere else. So anyways, that extra wrinkle of where these games take place, uh, the whole point of this video, the whole idea, it, it was a good one. I, I can't lie. Uh, the Broncos. Let me stop patting my back for a second. The Broncos. Okay, going northeast. I couldn't decide whether that was northeast or northwest. And if I follow logo to... Lo oh, they avoid Can Kansas City. What are we doing here, man? And which era are we gonna get here? We could have Peyton Manning on one side or the other here, or we could have no Peyton Manning. If Madden 08. Okay, okay, yeah. Lucky for the Broncos, they've done some work here in Madden 08, adding Carson Palmer a while ago. Now I've given them Julius Peppers. They needed a left end. Maybe he can rush uh, a little guy named Peyton Manning. As finally we get the best era of the Colts available to us in the video. They've done well without being in 08, but yeah, Manning, Harrison, I gave them Chris McAllister, a lockdown corner. I think they needed that, but it's all about offense for Indy here. All right, Indy, um, I praised your offense, but you are down 17-10, Peyton, please. Please don't go out sad like this. Oh, there you go, Peyton. On fourth and two, he threw a touchdown in the clutch. But the Broncos still had time on the clock. Carson Palmer orchestrates a touchdown scoring drive. And that's it. Oh my goodness. 500 yards of offense for the Colts. I mean, that's pretty good. But only 17 points. Denver holds on. What a duel. Legends. Carson Palmer, 348 and a touchdown. Peyton, 374 and two. But an INT obviously loomed large. Man, I just can't believe Peyton, Marvin, Harrison, Reggie Wayne, all those weapons. They couldn't muster more than 17 points. Crazy. Look at all that Denver orange. And here we go. Do the Kansas City Chiefs advance all the way to the final game of this video? If we don't see them in this matchup, boy, there they go. There they go. I'm glad. I'm glad. I didn't want this to be rigged or appear to be rigged in any way for Kansas City. There we go. Their debut in this video at long last will take place against Denver. That doesn't really matter. What matters is which era this game takes place. And I actually can't think off the top of my head. Were they good in Madden 08 or 16? I know they're good in Madden 20. Mm, we're about to find out. Before we get to the Chiefs, we will go to the Broncos, who were very, very good. We saw them in this era earlier. Uh, I've added Marshawn Lynch to their team. He is a missing piece, hopefully. Peyton's still a 92. Great receivers. And moment of truth, the Chiefs. Were they amazing in Madden 60? Oh, Jamal Charles. Looks like they got a lot of defensive pieces. Travis Kelsey was already kind of a stud. Yep. But Alex Smith is only an 84 overall. It's there for the taking, Denver. Don't let the Chiefs just sneak in and ruin our video. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to show you guys right here from this screen. It's it's happening. Denver, I mean, Peyton, no. 
Okay, hold on. Six point game. Kansas City has been running up the score. Looks like Denver's got the ball back. Peyton Manning came up small for his Colts on Madden 08. He is down six. Can win the game right here. Second down. They have one timeout, but they basically got to go the length of the field. Peyton going deep on the run. And it's picked off. What was that, man? No. Old man Peyton just choked in the clutch. Why did he throw that? I can't believe it, dude. Alex Smith just beat Peyton Manning on the biggest stage. Oh, I didn't look at what kind of numbers Jamal Charles put up. I'm sure he backpacked on route to 37 points. I've had the Bucks in their creamsicle uniforms all videos, so I've changed their territory to orange. Man, Kansas City, get out of here. The final spin of our video, whoever this lands on gets home free field advantage. Okay, Tampa Bay. And our final spin of the era's wheel. This is crazy. Tampa Bay. Both teams probably want this to be in Madden 24. Doesn't matter what they want. It's what they get. The Bucks wanted Madden 24 because they've been stacking upgrades. McCaffrey, Allen, Mark Andrews. Now, yeah, Aaron Donald. Why not? A new look Buccaneers squad has survived throughout the eras. Actually, they've only played in this era. It's crazy. Well, the Chiefs want to be in this era because, I mean, Mahomes, Kelsey, Chris Jones, and yes, a reunion. I have put Tyreek Hill onto the Chiefs. Their one upgrade this video. Is that enough? Are they about to win? Wait, I forgot. Neither team gets home field advantage we're putting them in the super bowl baby mahomes versus josh allen bucks chiefs i'm ready this game was shockingly low scoring but out of halftime mahomes would find pacheco in the end zone giving the chiefs a two possession lead josh allen finally put his stamp on this game with a large 41 yard touchdown pass to russell gage of all people a pat mahomes rushing td in the fourth separated the chiefs once again they were up eight ah the bucks had an answer though it's christian mccaffrey pulling them back tight we had to get a clutch finish between these two qbs these two teams 20 24-22, a really weird... Is that score Gami? Okay, it doesn't matter. Josh Allen hitting the out route for first. Don't make it look really, really bad like you can't program simulation. Okay, Josh Allen just over, just under a minute left. Lots of time. The check down to McCaffrey who breaks a tackle. That is huge. CMC shrugged a tackler to get out of bounds. Otherwise, that would have been pure disaster. Speaking of which, Mark Andrews doesn't get out. The clock is ticking. 30 seconds left. All Tampa Bay needs is one chunk play to get into field goal territory. Josh over the middle. Mark holds on. Brother, he got pop but held on that's why i gave mark andrews the clock is ticking uh tampa bay is not spiking it what are they doing don't complete the singing bounce oh that's smart mark get out <laughs> he doesn't get out of bounds no that's gonna be the game mark andrews doesn't get out of bounds and the chiefs are your champions of the video both qbs showed up to play in what was a low scoring game i didn't even hate that final play call they were trying to go out of bounds but mark andrews couldn't get there and somehow some way only having to play two games this entire video the kansas city chiefs are your nfl imperialism champs i can't believe it all that chaos and unpredictability introduced by the air wheel and it's uh, Kansas City who ends up on top playing two games I, I, I'm a little salty I hope you all enjoyed like the video subscribe if you're new and uh, let me know what you thought down below